an age-old argument that is brought up by many every year. Are video games creating criminals? And do they cause aggression? My opinion of this is going to have to be a no. <laughs> but not because I'm a passionate gamer myself, but because of the scientifically proven evidence that it does not. It's an argument that has no end in society, and it would seem that even people who truly believe video games are bad for you just don't want to even try to understand the facts that are laid before them. He was trained to kill with Call of Duty and other video games. Violent video games increase aggressive behavior. Are they going to become violent just by playing Grand Auto Theft and Halo and these games? These video games to me are, are murder simulators. As Boy, that escalated quickly. I mean, that really got out of hand fast. Let's look at APA and how they overlook the real-world gamer. The American Psychological Association have reviewed over 300 papers on violent video games between 2005 and 2013. So studies were done short and long term on players, and some lasted two years. And what they found was that violent video games has no effect on aggression. Are you kidding me? What do you think I'm doing? I'm going, I'm going! In response, UK Interactive Entertainment have stated, This report, like others before it, does not identify a casual link between games and aggression, and definitely no link between games and real-life violence. The APA's studies don't take into account many other studies of the real-life gamer that show that games offer many positive benefits such as problem-solving skills, team management, social skills, and even lowered aggression. Games have violence in them, but because we understand it's not real, we think that it's okay to do these things we wouldn't have done in real life. Playing games help people from committing crimes and lowers stress levels. And if that's not a good thing, then I don't know what is. Thank you for watching.